found his way. Hey, what? tell me a little bit about him alone. Oh mate, what do you need to know? He's fucking crazy. <laughs> All right, four, three, two. <laughs> He's sprinting off down there to get his car. Oh, and I'll tell you a story what he did today. I went for a shower this morning. He was making coffee. Anyway, come out of the shower. Coffee all over the floor, all over the desk, all over the floor. It stunk of coffee. I was like, Emily, what have you done? I forgot to put the cup in the machine. Just turned it on. That's what, <laughs> that's what he did this morning. Here he comes in the car. He's taking the park. Oh, he's done it. Look at that. That was a swoop maneuver. He's got a nice car. That was a little swoop swooping maneuver. Oh, mercy, dog. We can, we can fight it out. We got it, boys. Oh, thing on wheels. <laughs> he concentrated on the road. One of the best things about this trip <laughs> was that two of our friends from that we met in Thailand came over to watch Volko win. Shay Walsh came all the way from oh. England to watch Volk and Emilo's from Miami so he drove about four or five hours to come and see him. I'm going to make this uh, episode a little bit about Emilo because he is such a unique human and everybody that has met this guy has loved this guy. He's got energy. <laughs> it is crazy. He's the most entertaining human that I've ever come across. A little bit uh, backstory about Emilo. He used to coach Jiu Jitsu at Tiger Muay Thai. He also used to fight in 1FC. And Imolo has, Imolo is the guy that I've witnessed have some of the gnarliest fights for a couple of hundred bucks. All five round fights. One of them was in Singapore against a Brazilian. It was insane. The biggest war and battle I've ever seen. And the other one was in Bangkok. Another five round fight against another beastly Brazilian. And uh, the guy was just, we called him Grind Dog. G R I N D. Because man, that guy is a honey badger. That was his fight name. He would get in there, head down, and just go to work. Thank you for you to give a few. Man, I miss MLO fighting. It was the best thing to see ever. Did Emilio Emilio just drop the camera? <laughs> Emilio just dropped a few thousand dollar camera lens. How do you feel about that? Twenty five hundred dollar lens, you dog. US two Hey, this is Jeff and Full Ray J. He's boiling inside. All done. We've had uh, many good ideas this trip, um, but the guy that had the worst idea was this guy here. Look at him, he looks like he just can't wait. This guy just ran 100 kilometers on a stationary treadmill from midnight till 10 a.m. Probably the worst idea you could do before, before, before the fight. He did it on fight day. So now we're taking him to pure hydration to get an IV to try and bring his soul back to his body. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at you. Hey, we gotta we gotta go. Someone's gonna do this. and go squeeze this. You can see that too. Oh, really? You look so much better, bro. This is crazy. Like, so how does this happen so fast, bro? Doctor Pinker. How many, how many IVs you put in your time? Mate, in Thailand? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, it was Woody's old trick, but it was Woody's old trick. Uh, I put a, an IV on Woody every week. <laughs> oh, Woody's big on the He's back. We're back, baby. Why not? Let's go. Gatorade in a box of Modelo. <laughs> See you when I miss the flight tomorrow. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only four hours back to Miami. <laughs> <laughs>